on a shocking child abuse investigation. Tonight we've learned the state has had this family on their radar for months. Seven-year-old Jack remains in a coma. His father charged with starving and abusing him. Katie Brace is live in Hardwick with the latest on this story. Katie. And Liam, we have learned a social worker saw Jack the end of June. And about two weeks later, emergency personnel rushed to his father's apartment here in Hardwick to take him to the hospital. And doctors say he suffered from starvation and dehydration. Photos show seven-year-old Jack Loisel in happier times. The boy remains in a coma. His father is accused of starving him and burning him with bleach. Amber Loisel visited her son in the hospital. He was squeezing my hand and... I just know that he's going to come. He's going to come back. He just he knows that I'm there. The child's father, Randall Lynn, gained custody of his son a year ago. The Department of Children and Families says the family has received services from them since February. All I care about is my son getting better, um, and justice will prevail for my son. July 13th, Jack was rushed to the hospital, breathing but unresponsive. He weighed 38 pounds. Two weeks prior, DCF says their social worker saw Jack. I'm upset that this happened to my son and that um, something could have been done. Erin Bradley works for a children's advocacy group. She says it appears the system failed Jack. I would have to say yes, especially given the fact that he was just in school, what was it, three weeks ago. Loisel and Lynn separated before their son was born. Jack spent most of his early years with Loisel and her family in Lemonster. Pray for him. I need him back. Loisel says she saw her son two weeks before he was hospitalized and wants to think of him back home. And how beautiful he is and how smart and how much he loves hockey. And Loisel says her attorney advised her not to talk about how her son last looked when she saw him just two weeks before he was rushed to the hospital. She was also told not to talk about Randall Lintz. A judge has ordered Lintz's criminal history sealed. He remains in jail and he's held without bail. Reporting live in Hardwick, Katie Brace, WBZ News.